Hey, what's up? Free one thirteen, and welcome to another new exciting tutorial. And this is the creative eye. So today we are going to be looking at this thing melting. Yeah, exactly as you are seeing it, it's the way it's going to come out. Yeah, some people are asking me about the audios. The audios are made by Brian. Yeah, you can contact me so that I can contact him to contact you and then, you know, things move like that. Hi, Lakose. Um, by the way, let's go in and start. So now we are in our Cinema 4D and uh, everything is moving on very very well and smooth. I'm telling you this is the most most uh, powerful tool you've ever had in your computer. So we are going to start with this. Uh, we are going to use uh, a what? So we are going to use O. O. Capital O. You know it's going to be uh, in a font called Minalis. Uh, we are going to make it stronger so we make it uh, have the ability curves up and down so we are going to make this curve 6 in numbers so that it has these corners like uh, the corners which are not too sharp and not too dark so we are going to have it have a little deep of more depth uh, so that we can have way to start giving it uh, commands and uh, we are going to have a plane which is going to be working like a background it is going to be on positive Z so that it can fill up and it's like Yes, the O is nailed on the wall. So this is gonna work as a wall, and it's gonna be stretched to any way you feel like. Um, it's gonna be stretched. Yeah. So now we are having this O. Say it's not looking like an O, but it is. So we are going to make a, a material. It's a simple material, just uh, give it a blue color and uh, we are going to make the, the specular width very small and the strength very high uh, so that it looks like this. Yeah, We are going to make another material for the plane and for it it's going to have a reflective, we are going to add a backman and we reduce it uh, reduce it to that and uh, the color we are going to give it a little kind of blue bluish uh, so that it all looks like that so our oil is looking very very nice it's awesome and uh, maybe don't not get it <laughs> oh yeah so now we are going to have a extrude nerves um, oh not extrude it's a subdivision and anyway, in subdivision we are going to add in the display grady shading light so we can see this so we shut off this and uh, we are going to add some uh, subdivisions to this all so that uh, it gets into the commands where we want it to be and um, we are going to put back the subdivisions so these subdivisions uh, uh, make sure you do not increase anything in the subdivisions leave it as it is because it to be heavy for your computer and uh, it's going to be like this so we are going to start our chemicals now we are making we are going to have fun in this so the first thing we are going to use we are going to use a jiggle deformer to make this thing work out as we want so we are going to the this thing and we choose the jiggle yes these are deformers and uh the jiggle it's going to be 
yes it's what we're going to use to make it mirrored as you saw it in the beginning so we are going to modify this text so you press C and make it editable so we want to remove it from this thing now you see we are remaining with us plain and uh, and a, and a character like in our next food nap so we going to press C again and uh, we are having this we all separate it and uh, yes separate everything and now uh, after you select them all and say connect connect objects plus delete so we are remaining with one thing only with everything we would need so when we put it back it will look like this so we give it back our material and it will be very very beautiful now i'll explain to you the reason why we've done like that it's the only way where we can where we could have a single thing which i wanted to use so with this we're going to put the jiggody former onto it and the jiggody formers you see the properties we're having we're having here the object we're having restrictions forces catch and follow so these are the some of the things which are going to help us put this thing into the condition we want it in so we are going to have it like this so when our object is selected um, we are going to have character uh, this paint tool now this paint tool it's just like uh, the one you use in photoshop and uh, it's very very easy to use just use it like the way you see it and, uh, it's going to be like this you can see that um, the painted place has turned the yellow uh, that uh, white yellow and the whole shape has turned it red but that's not the color it has copied no and uh, we can sh go on painting everywhere we want to melt so yes go on and uh, just paint a little bit just paint go on painting just like as you do it in photoshop and after we can see when you preview you will see nothing has changed but in fact there is something which has changed now we are having this now uh, that, that's a tag which has come out because of a result of this uh, thing the, this uh, paint tool so when we go back to our mock tool and um, we are going to go to the jiggle deformer and now uh, we're going to go to the restriction now we want this tag to be restricted now now see this jiggle former is now holding this uh vertex map tag which is the result of the uh the paint tool now the paint uh, we want to add some little bit of gravitation force to to our tag yes a little bit of some gravitation force to our tag so we can go to animate uh, simulate and dynamics and get our what and get the gravity so but that's not going to be yes that's not going to be the case, the case so we we are we will check out there as uh, as i told you in the beginning there are very very many ways to make this thing happen so this is one of the ways and we'll be looking at other ways so we are going to use this this jiggle former is also having forces so you can see here we are having the gravity and uh, the more you pull it uh, we are seeing nothing happening <laughs> so let's play and the thing is working out wow so it's going to be uh, you can pull it out and uh, when you go to the object here is where the, the simplest thing comes and the hardest thing um, you know you can you can decrease the stiffness and um, stiffness now uh, when you decrease the stiffness uh, it will start falling 
falling like uh yes like it is crazy so we we'll have to go back to the forces and we we'll decrease our forces and uh when we decrease our forces something like it yes now so it's going to be very very We want it to have something like let's say 20. Uh, oh, negative 20. <laughs> negative 20 because this is gravity. So, uh, yes, that's what we are going to have. And uh, if you feel like you can give it an animation thing uh, so that it can appear like the way you feel you want it to be. And uh, you can give it keyframes and animate it in the way you want it to be. And you can use it in a lot of your creative works. And uh, for me, this is all. For you, check out every Friday. We are having you a new tutorial on Creative Eye. And do not forget to subscribe and uh, recommend other people also to come and watch. And uh, also, check out for more details about the sounds made by Brian and the videos made by me, Free113. And welcome to another new exiting tutorial which has ended now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.